Hi, I'm Sandy Hinckley, and today I wanted to talk to you about one of my very favorite verses. It's found in Psalms chapter 34, verse 14, and it says, Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. I like that we're told to both seek and pursue peace. Both are actions, uh, which tells me that I shouldn't just sit and wait for it to land on me. Um, I have a job to do in this. I am curious, however, what do you think is the difference between seeking and pursuing? Looking a little more into this, if we go to John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus tells us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Jesus said he would leave and give us his, his peace. How do you think the peace Jesus is talking about is different than the world's peace? I really wish I could hear your answers to those last two questions. I'll very quickly share some of my thoughts, um, as well as some practical things that I think we can do to make sure that these two verses play out in our lives every day. To seek, when I think of that phrase, I think of um, looking or asking for. When I think of to pursue, I think of a relentless attempt to grasp or attain something. The actions that I think we could take today to try to seek or pursue to peace and to put that into practice would be to pray for specific peace with the expectation that God will provide as he's promised he would. Sometimes we need to hit our knees and say it out loud. We also need to keep all of our follow-up prayers um, in the form of, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Again, with the expectation that he's promised us his peace. And finally, for um, seeking and pursuing, have a praise verse to repeat or a praise song to sing whenever that peace starts to slip away. When I think about peace, the worldly view, um, that means to me that there's a lack or an absence of conflict or fear. That's the worldly definition of peace. The godly peace, I think, is referring to a relief for an anxiety based on the sure knowledge that we don't have to be in control. God's got it. We don't have to worry about that. So the actions I think that we can take to help identify God's peace are to evaluate yourself to see if there's anything you can do or should have done that you haven't done yet. Do you have any unfinished business that you need to do? You can also evaluate yourself to see if you need to take care of any sin problems with other people or with God. A lot of times that gets in the way of our peaceful feelings. And I think we need to be honest about what is out of our control and place it confidently in the Lord's keeping and then fight the temptation to take it out of his hands. If we know that he's got it, he's got it. We don't need to take control of it again. I hope that this has given you some things to think about. I know it has for me. Uh, my intention for the rest of, of this experience and as I move forward in my life is to remember to seek peace and pursue it. Have a blessed day.